With the growing population, farmers grow crops on the same land year after year. Under such continuous use, soil fertility declines if nutrients removed with crop products are not returned. To deal with this problem, mineral fertilizers are essential. But as fertilizers are more expensive in Africa than anywhere else in the world, most farmers use none at all. In response, many countries have subsidized fertilizers, yet often neglecting supportive agricultural practices, institutions and policies. <laughs> Africa can avoid mistakes made in other continents by promoting fertilizer together with other practices that maximize their efficiency and economic return. The combined use of improved varieties, mineral fertilizer and locally available organic materials is called integrated soil fertility management. While farmers are eager to invest some money when given access to small quantities of fertilizer and seed, transporting bulky organic materials with low nutrient content is costly. So farmers need to produce their own organic resources on farm to the extent possible. In West Africa, with limited labor and small financial risks, sorghum and millet farmers apply microdosing. By adding small amounts of fertilizer and compost to each planting hole, they produce more straw and harvest more cereals. In eastern Central Africa, many farmers have turned to rotating their maize crop with improved varieties of legume crops, such as soybeans, pigeon pea, or climbing beans. Apart from providing cash, the nitrogen-rich residues help to improve soil fertility and boost maize yields. Equally important in integrated soil fertility management is the promotion of good practices, such as plant spacing and placement and timing of fertilizer. In the Democratic Republic of Congo, women's groups now harvest three instead of just one legume crop in their cassava field by combining organic and mineral fertilizer and improving the way sunlight reaches the legume crop. Leo tunapata ya kupanda maharagi na mihogo kumustari. Ni kusema turu ya pili tunaweza vuna ya kwanza kisha ile mihogo na ile hii mayani ya maharagi tasaidia ile mihogo mbolea yingine na saidia ile tulitia mbulongo eh hey, kisha tunatia maharagi turu ya pili na ile mihogo iko vile ndio maana tulikamata distance ya kabambi while training farmers and making inputs accessible are important more labor intensive land management such as terraces may be needed for these investments to actually pay off From the semi-arid tropics in West Africa to the more humid highlands of Central Africa, three lessons are apparent. First, subsidizing fertilizers without promoting other best practices is an inefficient use of government money. Governments must invest in building farmers' capacities in integrated soil fertility management. Second, we need innovative approaches to extension to help farmers find adequate strategies for their soils depending on available resources and markets. It will take the right mix of group-based learning, radio, video, crop-specific nutrient management tools and gender-sensitive approaches to reach both men and women farmers. Third, research has much to offer. For example, new cost-effective methods to soil mapping and on-farm experimentation help in identifying the likely limiting factors 
and in steering extension workers and farmers to test the right kind of technologies. Good management practices for crops and cropping systems exist, but still need to find their way to the farmer. Integrated soil fertility management can help governments to save money. More importantly, it is crucial to help farmers become food secure, not only for today, but for generations to come. <laughs>